Okay, and welcome back students who are uh, taking math for business and finance and math applications, doing the word problems, the odd number problems, all three sets. And in the last video, we completed set one of three. So now we're going to move to set two of three, which begins with problem 5-23. Alright, it says here, on a flight from Boston to San Diego, American reduced its internet price by $190. So immediately in the back of my head, I'm thinking about a, you know, the price that American would sell and it's reducing its price. So reduced means a minus, okay, reducing its price by $190, which would equal some other price. Well, I need to know what that price is. So now it says the new sale price was $420.99. So the original price minus $190 is equal to 420.99. What was the original sales price? So all we're doing here is just simple um, math. All right, we want to isolate the P, so we want to take the 190 and move it to the other side of the equal sign. So when we do that, P is equal to 420.99 minus uh, plus 190. So P ends up being 610.99. Simple, okay? I'm not gonna go back and uh, redo the math of why the uh, minus 190 becomes a plus 190. Go back and watch the previous videos to see that, okay? So this problem was relatively easy. All we did was we had a, an original price and we're subtracting the 190 to equal, you know, whatever our new price is, right? So that's 420.99, okay? Next problem, 5-25. Let's see here, Bill sells, I mean, Bill's Roast Beef sells five times as many sandwiches as Pete's Deli. Okay, so Bills, they're, they're setting up a relationship here. Bills sells five times as many sandwiches as Pete's Deli. The difference between their sales is 360 sandwiches. So the difference uh, meaning subtract. So if Bill sells five times as many as Pete, and we don't know how many Pete has, let's make Pete set it uh, as the variable X, which means Bill would be uh, you know, five times whatever Pete, um, Pete had, uh, whatever Pete sold, which would be five X. We're placing the variable X for Pete, so Bill would be five X. But now it's saying the difference between their sales, okay, between their sales. So we have Bill minus Pete is how many? We're looking for the difference between, you know, what Bill sells and what Pete sells. How many sandwiches did each sell? Okay. So if Bill is 5x and Pete is x and they're uh, between their sales and the difference between their sales is 360. Okay, so we have 5x minus x will be equal to the 360. So 5 minus 1x, 5x minus 1x is 4x is equal to 360. And we isolate the x by dividing both sides by, since that's multiplying, we divide both sides to, to one side, we do to the other. So x ends up being 360 divided by 4 is 90. Okay. So Pete sells 90 sandwiches and Bill is 5x, so 5 times the 90 
which would be 450. Okay. So to prove ourselves, so Bill ends up selling 450. And to prove ourselves, um, we're going to plug in the 450 here minus the 90. That's Bill minus Pete. And that equals 360. So 360 is equal to 360. So we know that X being 90, which is how many Pete sold, is correct. And then 5 times X, or 5 times 90, is 450. And we know that's how many Bill. So we know it's correct because it proves itself out. OK? All right, next problem, uh, 5-27. A local computer city sells batteries at $3 and small box of pens at $5. So immediately in the back of my head, I'm thinking about selling batteries and being plus small boxes of pens, okay, probably for a total amount. And it says in August, the total sales were 960. Okay. Now, again, the catch with this is, if you um, go back to, let me just jump up there, yeah, pro word problem 5-15, this is, I, you know, basically identical, okay, because we have batteries plus pens is equal to 960, but there, this equation isn't balance because we don't sell batteries and pens for the same amount. We sell batteries for three and pens for five. So we have to take into consideration the difference in the value of the, the batteries and pens in order to uh, figure out when we add them both together to end up getting $960. And our relationship says here that um, for batteries, Customers bought five times as many batteries as pens. So we can set pens, since we don't know how many pens we have, and we can't determine on the number of batteries because we don't, you know, that's the relationship is, is that it depends upon how many pens. We set pens um, to... Let's see, they're using a P, right? So we set pens to uh, the variable P. Now, that means that batteries become five times P because we're replacing the, uh, the pens with the variable P. So that means batteries become five times P. However, batteries go for three dollars each and then the pens go for five dollars each I mean if if we if they were the same dollar amount it wouldn't matter it wouldn't matter if it's a hundred dollars or if it's ten cents because of their same value we don't have to can take that into consideration but because the they're selling the pens and the batteries for different amounts we have to consider that so our batteries become um, 5p times, oops, there we go, 5p times the $3, so 3 times 5 is 15, so now our uh, batteries have become 15p, and of course p times 5 is equal to 5p. Right? Now we can add, you know, plug those back into our original. Uh, equation here. We know our batteries are 15p and our pens are 5p. Now, why I keep writing 9? I don't know. Um, 5p and that they total is $960. So now all we need to do is just the math. So 15 plus 15p plus 5p is 20p is equal to 960. And when we divide both sides by 20, P 
ends up being, let's see here, quickly do the math. Uh, uh, that's 2 into 96, that's like 4, 80, 16, 48. So P ends up being 48. Now, we have to go and we have to take that uh, P is equal to 48 and plug it back into the number of pens and also plug it back into the number of batteries. So um, 5P, there's that 9 again. <laughs> I don't know today. 5P is equal to 5 times 48, which is equal to, let's see here, that's 240. And our 15P is 15 times 48, which ends up being, um, let's see here, 240 and 480. Okay, quick math here. Okay, notice that, okay, I'm going to end up with um, 720. And the way I'm going, going to end up with 720 here doing the quick math, okay, is notice I have, and this is an aside from the problem, okay, notice that I have 15 here. Notice I just did the math for 5. Well, if I did the math for 5 and that came out to 240, that means if I take 5 from the 15, I'd end up with 10. Well, 10 times 48 is equal to 480, and I'm going to add it to the 240 that I figured out from the 5, and I end up with 720. Okay, So now I can come back and plug those numbers in. For my batteries, I have 720, and for my pens, I have 240. And when they add up, they add up to 960. 960 is equal to 960. So that I know that my P is equal to 48 um, is correct. My variable 48 is correct. Okay. All right. Um, with that said, notice that these problems are pretty much basically the same. Um, like I had said, 5 27 is very similar to 5 15. All right, so if you go back and you watch that, you go back and you watch this one. Um, yeah, I, I solved them a little bit differently. And like I said, there's more than one way to do things sometimes, but I'm just going to do what comes into my mind. And by mimicking or following my thought process, hopefully you'll pick up on it. And if you do enough uh, in this fashion, you will uh, get a hang for how to begin to do these word problems without too much trouble. All right, so with that said, I'm going to stop and... We'll move on to all right um, problem 5-33, which happens to be um, in set 3 of 3. Okay, so see you in the next video.